hello guys today I would like to show you how to replace the hard disk drive and the memory on the Toshiba Tekra 8000 this is quite old computer but still could be used so first of all the memory the memory is under that flap you have to remove that free screw That could be easy very, very fast. The access to the hard drive is quite interesting and I was looking for it for a second. And this is our memory module. As you can see, we've got uh, two banks. We can, we can remove our memory. And that's the model number. Let's focus please. And the memory banks itself. So if you wish to upgrade that's the only thing you have to do. And you're done. You're good to go. The hard disk drive is more interesting in my opinion because the, the memory is very easy Accessible. The hard disk drive is in CAD-D and it's under a, a flap. That is quite, quite interesting. Okay, so now let's take a look on the, on the hard disk drive. So over here we've got our USB port and the power on. And over here should be a screw that you need to remove and then you can pull this pull this element down and just like like that this is our USB port cover and the power and as you can see we've got our USB and we've got our hard disk drive caddy that have over there a strap that you can use to pull off the hard disk drive and inside we've got a, a connector made by Toshiba and this is our hard disk drive so as you can see it's quite quite beefy and of course a Toshiba connector not the standard one and if you would like to remove the, the disk from the CAD you have to remove a couple of the screw one on the side on the other side and two screw from the front let's remove them quickly Now we can open our caddy and this is our shield, this is our hard disk drive and you can remove this two screw, let's, let's remove it so I can show you everything, we are removing this two screw they are all the same so there is no no problem and now you've got your hard disk drive as i told you quite beefy this is the adapter and we've got a standard parallel ATR connector so if you would like to put it back no problem just like that and there is a, a catch over here if you that side is over here you go like that from side of the connector we are going to, to add a two screw you 
one should be over here. It's quite hard to get them aligned. Okay, yes, we got it. And the other screw. The other side from... So both, both screw from the side of the connector, over here, over here, not over there. And you might think that this part is going inside that, but it's not. It's going in the opposite way. And over there will be our, our latch, our pulling. So let's go like that. And we have to make sure that this element and this go inside. Okay. Not that screwdriver. And that one. That one is a proper one. Okay. Just like that. And from the other side. Just like that, and from the front, and the other over here. Just like that, and we can put our heading inside, this side up, just like that. And now we are grabbing our element, we are going to put our latch like that, and we are going to click them just like that. Then that's how it's done. And if you've got a screw, you just put it back. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time. And bye bye.